this is how it goes. You need some chili flakes, some pepper, salt, bay leaves, a cinnamon stick, a couple of cloves, and also a couple of cloves of garlic. I use uh, ruffled or spruce, doesn't make a difference. I have uh, pancetta and some diced onions, some olive oil from my backyard, chicken broth. This is a mixture of the chicken broth and the uh, whole peeled tomatoes, the whole can actually. I believe it's uh, about 790 grams, something like that. Some celery and carrots and a little bit of white vino. So you just bear with me, I'll show you how I throw all this together. Okay, um, what I've done next, I've just taken my, um, my uh, uh, chaudron, I don't know what you call it, the, uh, the pot, and I uh, threw my olive oil inside, the pancetta with the onions, and after they rendered a bit, and the onions got a little bit of color, I threw in my carrots and the celery. And uh, I'm just going to mix them up a bit, sweat them a bit, you know. Once all that's done, give it a few few minutes. I think they're nice and golden. I'm sorry about the uh, fogged up lens. So uh, let me continue on this and uh, I'll get back to you in a couple of seconds. Stay with me. What I do next, my friends, is plain and simple. I just take my meat. Actually, um, I remove uh, all the veggies in the pancetta from the, uh, from the pot after they sweat it and they got color. And I just threw them in the, uh, in the juice here since everything from here is going back into here. I don't want to dirty too many plates. What I do, I just uh, brown my meat. I want to get a nice color on the meat, so I try to keep my flame uh, pretty high without burning anything. So I'm just going to sear all the meat here, and once that's done, I'll let you know what's next. Simple, huh? Stay tuned. Okay guys, now that your, uh, your breasts are nice and brown, what I like to do next is we'll get my wine and just throw that goodness in there. Leave it alone for a little while. Let it come to a boil and reduce somewhat. And uh, get back to you when we're finished with that step. So far, so good. They've been... Uh, boiling in that wine, oil, and mirepoix for I would say about 15 minutes now. My next step is I go to my spices and like I said I got some garlic cloves here. Oh, Sorry, I'll try to get rid of that light. Okay, so we've got some garlic, chili flakes, pepper, salt, uh, bay leaves, a little bit of cinnamon and some cloves and we just scaff everything in there. There you go. Pretty easy, huh? Mix all that stuff up together. Sorry if I, uh, I'm cooking and looking through the lens, it's a little hard, but you guys get the idea. Everything's there. It's voiceover recording guys, although I had to do it because my brother-in-law decided to call me while I was doing this segment and you can hear the uh, the buzzing of my phone call in the background and it truly is annoying. Again, I apologize about this little disturbance. The food will make up for it. So stick around guys. Thanks. Okay, well the next step guys, what I did, I took my tomatoes and a chicken broth mixture poured everything in there and I'm just letting it come to a boil once it comes to a boil I'm going to reduce it to a simmer 
for approximately 45 minutes. And after that, after the 45 minutes, I'm going to add my Greek pasta, uh, which I forgot to introduce before. Uh, this stuff is called hilopites. It looks like a uh, like an egg noodle, uh, actually like a fettuccine, a little thinner, and it's cut up in little pieces. Like uh, I don't know if you can see that. Did that come into focus? There you go. So basically, that's what it is. And if you can't get, you can get this in all Greek specialty stores. If you can't get access to this, you can use just fettuccine and you know cut it up or preferably egg noodles and uh, that's it once our mixture here comes to a boil and it simmers for about 45 minutes then we're just gonna remove the meat and then I add my pasta in there and the ratio to this pasta is about two and a half liquid to one uh, two and a half liquid to one dry therefore like one cup of pasta to two and a half uh, cups of uh, liquid or juice ballpark okay you can use your own judgment you know you can add whatever you want later on you can add a little bit more juice if it gets too thick and you want it in the consistency of, uh, of a thick thick soup so let this thing boil come to a simmer and uh, I'll get back to you when we're ready to add the pasta um, after my uh, juices with the uh, the meat have been simmering for approximately 45 minutes, what I did, I went ahead and I removed all my meat. And then I added all the pasta and this juice. The pasta that was there is now here. So, we're just going to leave this simmer for... Uh, Approximately, I don't know, I would say about 20 minutes until the pasta gets nice and thick. We're going to put back our meat in here, remove the, uh, you know, like the cinnamon stick, the cloves, and the bay leaves, because they're not easy to digest. We're going to remove all that stuff, put our meat back in here. Oh my god, this is going to be good. I, oh, this is going to be good. I, look, you know what? I'll see you guys in about half an hour when we're ready to eat. Later, guys. And this, my friend, is the end result. Pasta's all cooked. And it's ready to go. Bon appétit, everyone. Thanks for joining.